everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Excuse the very glamorous look, I'm currently filming my first Vlogmas video this year after I filmed this introduction. I don't know if I'm enjoying the whole eyelash look but they're on now and there's no taking them off. And of course that means there's an announcement on Vlogmas this year. It is returning but unlike last year where I posted every day for 24 days, I'm posting every other day. So the 1st, the 3rd, the 5th, the 7th, etc, etc. And today I'm filming my ultimate equestrian gift guide which is going to be the biggest ever and I am so excited. I'm also wearing as well, let me show you, a Christmas jumper from Lemieux as well which is absolutely beautiful. I've got it in the baby pink, it's in this beautiful fair isle, beautiful gold sparkly stitching running through as well, it's stunning. And I'm pretty sure that they do it in grey as well. So I'll leave that tagged just in case. But the main purpose of today's video is a Darcy update. Now this video was very unexpected and I wasn't expecting to post it today. This is the lit this is literally the day that it's being posted as I'm filming this right now. But last night I had a late evening ride on Ringo and as I'm trotting around, who comes out the stable all tacked up with a rider on? Darcy. <laughs> it was her first ride and oh my goodness, well you'll see in a second, she literally did not put a foot wrong. This will probably be my shortest video I've ever uploaded because I again wasn't expecting to film a video yesterday so I've just got little clips which I thought I would put in a YouTube video just so you guys can all be updated and see, see her progress. But the other update from Darcy wasn't actually what you're about to see but actually what I've recently found out about her past. So we managed to track down her old owners. So basically Darcy's owner history was she was I think sold as either a yearling or a two year old and this lady then kept her for I think about seven years to so the next lady. Um, so she was broken at four and apparently was foot perfect to break. Then I think somewhere along the lines she had a stifle injury, which again none of this we were told, so she's had a stifle injury. Um, I'm not sure the depth of that injury, but anyways, basically she was then too lame to continue her journey. She was shown, like she was ridden at shows, etc. I've got photo evidence of all that, so it wasn't as if she's some crazy pony that we're about to find out that she's crazy. She did nothing wrong. Um, the fields, so we've obviously been sent all of her photos from when she was younger and it seemed to be that she was on a really, really steep field living out. So she never got given box rest or anything like that to heal her injury. And again, she was on a hill like this, so it could have just been a field injury as opposed to anything worse than that. Um, so she hurt her stifle. The vet then advised the lady to put shoes on her. The second she got shoes, shoes on, she got really, really lame and got laminitis. So then they took the shoes off, the laminitis went and the lameness went, but then I think the lady felt that she was too big and too heavy to ride a horse with an injury or potential injury that might come back. So then she was left in the field and then a few years later she was then sold as a broodmare and then she got put into foal the first time and nobody apparently was there when she gave birth and the foal died in the bag. So the poor girl, by the sounds of her little life that she's had so far at 10 years old, she just, she hasn't had much love or much luck. But thank goodness now we actually know her history. We now know that she's prone to laminitis, so we have to watch what she's eating and how much exercise she's having, make sure she's kept nice and make sure that she's kept nice and fit and she's not getting too much haylage or too much grass and she's just constantly in work and obviously whether that's road work, etc. etc. We now also know that there was a past injury there. She's not showing any sign of lameness or unsoundness or discomfort at the moment, but again, it's just something to watch. So we need to just take her nice and slowly, very carefully, and just see how she goes. Obviously, that's not an issue because we Obviously, it originally bought her as a broodmare to go to Ringo. So whether her injury does come back or she, you know, she does start to show her signs of discomfort or unsoundness, she can just return home to my mum's, live in the field next to Holly and have a baby with Ringo and just have a very calm and quiet life like that. Whichever way she goes, she's going to be, whichever way she ends up going, she's obviously going to be shown so much love from us anyway. Um, but I just think, you know, while there's the opportunity there that she could be a ridden prospect, I'm going to try my best because she's so settled at Blackwater. She's so calm. She's seeming so confident and she's really settled into her, her new life and routine. And you'll actually see in this video in a second how much she actually looked like she loved being ridden. She didn't spook once. She literally, honestly, she was, she got on and they walked and trotted her up the side of the the yard first on the concrete and then when you know she seemed to be a really good girl they then took her in the arena and trotted her around the arena and they did lots of bending and lots of changes of rain and she just seemed to be an absolute darling and so you know so long as she carries on like this so long as that injury doesn't come back I don't want to be spending thousands of pounds on vets bills that's one thing I don't especially as my mum owns Darcy and not myself um 
I'm obviously paying for her to be at the yard and not my mum um, but I don't also want her to go through anything like that anyway when she was perfectly happy in a field. I'm just trying her as she is, seeing how she goes and if I get a few years competing out of her and a few years of bond with her before she then goes and becomes a baby mama to Ringo <laughs> um, then I will but so yeah I'm just I'm gonna try my absolute best with her first because she is super 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 loving her routine but at least now we know all of her past things it's not as if there's an issue there because you know it's, it's one of those things when you see a horse that's been broken or been started and then been left you kind of think why what's wrong what do they do how naughty are they do they rear do they bolt do they buck you know what's what's their vice and she doesn't have a vice she just had a little injury um I'm not sure how big or how little the injury was then got laminitis so basically she just had a little bit of bad luck when she first started in her ridden career of being unsound and then she was left and assuming the way that she's been left as well, you know, even with with humans, if we have an injury, over time they, they heal up anyway, don't they? So with a bit of luck, so long as we're really careful with her and take her really slowly and carefully, she will be fine. But at least I now know that that could be a possibility that happens in the future. So I'm not going to put all of my eggs in one basket and think my new dressage horse or my new showing horse or whatever. Um, she's a project and hopefully going to be staying with us forever anyway. So, um, you know, but whether she becomes unsound again or whether she stays absolutely perfect and sound for the rest of her career and her life, um, it, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. And I hope you enjoy these next few clips. They're really not very long. I'm really sorry. I was riding Ringo. It was freezing cold and my thumbs didn't quite work with the gloves on on the phone um and also ring is being impatient so if it's a little bit head bobbly <laughs> it's because ring is being impatient um but yeah i hope you enjoy this video i'm probably not going to do an outro on here because it literally is now just a few clips of darcy but i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you guys maybe before vlogmas but if not i will see you on the 1st of december and every other day from the 1st of december at 4 30 p.m on my youtube channel That's my wife, that's my wife, oh my god, oh my god. Also guys, this is a size that we can comfortably jump. <laughs> I might have a go. Where's she gone? He is like, he knows it's his wife. He's that is my breed. She's not gone out the gate, she's not gone for a hack. See? She's not done there, I promise. Did you go on with your ride? I wanna go hack. Where did they go? Oh I look like an egg. <laughs> no shock there. Um, I'm just riding Ringo and Darcy's just been sat on for the first time, so they're just walking here at the moment through the stables and around the outside like the block around the outside the stable block oh nice ear let's push her in um then i'm assuming they're going to come in the arena um but this is very exciting and she's being a very very good girl